snails. Um, when you look at snails, you realize that um, snails have got a very flexible body. You can elongate their head to be as long as the shell over here. And um, they can even turn it to be very flexible. So you can actually make a U-turn snail, uh, something like this. So it's a little bit more expressive. Or you can make something like that, as if it's um, clam up together. Okay, waiting to go to sleep, for example. Okay, before I start to draw, another detail that we want to look at is all the snails have this uh, particular coil on the top of the shell. And you, you look at shells, some shells are round like this and some shells are a little bit uh, elongated. So you can choose to do either a long, longish shell or a round shell. Okay, but you definitely need to have some kind of swirl. Now oh, we're gonna draw the, let's draw the body first. So you can do something like this, the soft body. And it's sort of like that. Okay, next one we want to draw the shell. Well, we're gonna do a round shell. So we're gonna make a shape like this. And then it has some kind of swirl. Okay, you can do the swirl this way or this way, any way you want. So now we'll start to make and we'll use uh, one piece of clay and divide it into two parts. One piece of clay here. So for the shell, it's, since it's so big, we're going to divide it into two thirds and one third. So we make the bottom first. We simply roll into a koi like shape. Okay, don't roll too thin. Okay, then I want to flatten it a little bit. The body. And then we can turn this up. And if you have enough clay, you can squeeze out the fillers. Okay, you don't want the fillers to be like this. Just squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull and press a little bit. You can also use like this. And do this very, very slowly. So you don't get it to be too thin. Okay, very important that it's not too thin, otherwise it will break. If you want to give it a bit of neck, you can just squeeze at the neck like this. So it looks a little bit like a person. Personalize your animals. And so I have the body of the snail. Okay, and over here I'm going to flatten it a little bit because I want to sit the shell on it later on. Just use your thumb and uh, put some pressure on it. So there I go. Okay, you can also have your snail turn a little bit as if it's exploring something. Okay, or you can have it lying down like that. Okay, next thing here is um, the, the shell. So first thing we'll do is we'll beat it more or less into a round shape. When you pound it onto the surface, you're actually compressing the surface and uh, giving it some form. Huh. Sometimes accidentally you get the shape without even <laughs> trying very hard. If you get this dense here, all you can do is just Put some pressure on it, just wooden it. Here as well. Okay, if you want it to be a bit round, you can uh, just put some pressure on the edges here, and it looks a bit round. Okay, I want to match it up. Ah, nice, big house. Okay. So now we're going to join it together. Score first, like that, make it rough on both sides. Thanks. Put some of this slip, apply a lot of it, and uh, press down. And also, follow you, use the mixer to mix my slip. Make it smoother. Uh, oh, make from my studio. Because I'm brown. Oh, I can make for you. Ah, nice big house. A house for two. And then we can uh, make decorative lines. Put it in your palm. If you make a mistake, just erase like that. And continue. Open the eyes, and uh, you can even make some more patterns on the surface. <gasps> See, I found this very nice one. And, uh, 
have some more swirls inside the snail. Maybe on selected areas, okay, not on all. After that, uh, we can go into colouring. Use an underglaze. You can have it any colour you want. It can be some yellow, a little bit of peach, a little bit of brown. You can colour up two layers. yellow shell. Nice. There you go. Easy peasy. Done. Done.